Let's take a look at adding and subtracting decimals. If you can add 32 and 65, then you can definitely add 3.2 and 6.5. The key thing is just to make sure that when you write it, the decimal points are in line. So 3.2, 6.5, my decimal points are in line, and I'm also gonna put a decimal point in line in the answer. Now I'm just adding up down the columns. Two plus five is seven, three plus six is nine, so the answer is 9.7. Let's have a look at another example. So 12.34 plus 7.93. So we need to be very careful here that we write the seven in the correct place. We, we, we're not writing the seven underneath the one, we're writing the seven underneath the two. But if, as long as we put the decimal point in first, then it's almost impossible to get it wrong. So if the decimal points are in line, everything else is in line, put a decimal point in line in the answer box. Four plus three is seven. 3 plus 9 is 12, 2 carry the 1, 7 plus 1 plus 2 is 10, 0 carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the answer is 20.27. And this final example, 16.5 plus 9.03. Again, it's all about how we write it down. As long as we get the decimal point in line, then everything else will be fine. So we've got a 9 on the, to the left, so the 9 is under the 6, and a 0, 0, 3 and we just need to add them up down the columns. If you prefer, if you don't like the fact that in the 16.5 there's only one decimal place, whereas there are three decimal places in the 9.003, you can always fill these uh, gaps with zeros if you prefer. Zero plus three or nothing plus three is three. Zero, five, again, probably should have put that decimal point in at the start. Six plus nine is 15, five carry the one, one plus one is two, so there's our answer, 25.503. So the key thing is make sure you line them up correctly by keeping the decimal points in line. Exactly the same with subtraction as well. 6.7 minus 5.1, as long as we've got the decimal points in line, and again in the answer box, we're fine, and now it's no different from subtracting 51 from 67. Seven minus one is six, six minus five is one, so 1.6. 12.34 minus 7.93, decimal point in the right place, in line, so the seven will fit under the two, not under the one. Four take away three, oh, decimal point in line in our answer as well. Four take away three is one. Three take away nine can't be done, so the two becomes a one, the three becomes a 13. 13 minus nine is four. 1 minus 7 can't be done, 1 becomes a 0, this 1 becomes an 11, 11 take away 7 is 4. So the answer here is 4.41. And the final example, 16.5 take away 9.003, again the decimal points are in line, which means the 9 automatically fits under the 6, and probably it's a good idea to fill these with zeros. 0 minus 3 can't be done, so you need to borrow from the next column, which is empty. So you need to borrow from the 5. 5 becomes 4. This 0 becomes a 10. So I can borrow from the 10. The 10 will now become a 9, so that I can fill this column up and make it 10. 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 minus 0 is 9. 4 minus 0 is 4. 6 minus 9 can't be done. 1 becomes a 0. 6 becomes 16. And 16 take away 9 is 7, so the answer 7.497. Again, nothing can really go wrong provided you've got all the decimal points in line. That's really the most important thing.